The Messerschmitt Bf 110 heavy fighter was introduced by the Luftwaffe in 1937, followed by the Mi 210 two years later. These planes were known for their speed and powerful weaponry, however, they were not as agile or fast as single engine fighters. Despite this setback, the Bf 110 was later utilized as a highly successful night fighter during World War II. Concurrently, Messerschmitt started developing a successor to the Bf 110, aiming to improve upon its design and performance. This new aircraft was not a completely original concept, but rather an enhanced version of the Bf 110. However, unforeseen challenges awaited during its development. In 1938, Waldemar Voigt, the chief designer at Messerschmitt, started developing a new aircraft to replace the Bf 110. The new design was similar to the Bf 110, featuring two engines, a midwing, and twin vertical control surfaces in the tail. However, the new aircraft had a small enclosed bomb bay instead of external racks for bombs. It was expected to have a top speed of around 390 miles per hour, which was an improvement over the Bf 110 and comparable to other single-engine fighters of the time. The objective was to create a versatile aircraft capable of performing multiple roles. In the heavy fighter role, it could be armed with two 20mm cannons and two 7.92mm machine guns in the nose. Additionally, four more 20mm cannons could be added in a pack in the bomb bay. For ground attack missions, the aircraft was equipped with dive brakes and a dive bombing site in the cockpit. Even the rear armament was unique, with a pair of remotely controlled turrets mounted on the fuselage sides. Each turret housed a 13mm machine gun and was operated by the rear gunner from the cockpit. To prevent the gunner from accidentally shooting the tail of the aircraft, a mechanical cutout was installed. German aircraft designations during this period were based on a two-letter abbreviation of the manufacturer's name. Messerschmitt acquired another company in 1938 and renamed it Messerschmitt AG. Consequently, all Messerschmitt aircraft introduced to the Luftwaffe after that were designated with the Mi prefix. The Mi-210, a prototype airplane, took its first flight in September 1939, just one day after the start of World War II. However, due to delays in producing the DB-601F engine, the plane was equipped with the less powerful DB-601B engines. This led to a major problem, the aircraft had poor flight performance and handling. Unlike its predecessor, the Bf-110, which was known for its smooth handling, the Mi-210 had numerous issues. Its center of gravity was too far back, causing the nose to rise during turns. If the speed decreased, the plane could enter a stall and spin out of control. Additionally, the undercarriage was not strong enough and could collapse during rough landings. Even after a redesign that replaced the twin tails with a single vertical stabilizer and rudder, the handling problems persisted. Despite these challenges, limited production of pre-production models of the Mi-210 began at the Messerschmitt works. Due to the evident issues encountered during test flights, it was decided that the first 15 planes produced would be used for further testing. In September 1940, the second prototype of the Mi-210 airplane experienced a mid-air breakup during dive bombing tests. Fortunately, the pilot was able to safely eject from the aircraft. Tragically, a senior officer of ERD-210 lost his life in a separate crash involving the Mi-210 at the Luftwaffe Flight Test Center in Reckland near Berlin. Despite these incidents, the Luftwaffe had a pressing need for a replacement for the Bf-110 and decided to proceed with full-scale production of the Mi-210 starting in 1941 at the Messerschmitt Works in Augsburg and Regensburg. Two versions of the Mi-210 were manufactured. The Mi-210AL served as a bomber-destroyer equipped with cannons and machine guns, while the Mi-210A2 functioned as a bomber capable of carrying up to 2,000 kilograms of bombs in the bomb bay and on external racks. Unfortunately, most pilots who flew both versions of the Mi-210 reported that it was a challenging and unstable aircraft, rendering it unsuitable for combat operations. To address these issues, Messerschmitt made design modifications, including the introduction of automatic leading-edge slats, similar to those found on the BF-109. While these adjustments helped mitigate the aircraft's stall and spin tendencies, they did not improve overall stability. As a result, all existing Mi-210s were retrofitted with these slats. 
In April 1942, the Luftwaffe made a surprising decision. They requested the cancellation of the production order for the Mi-210, ceased all further production of the aircraft, and opted to resume production of the older Bf-110 instead. This decision was made to allow for additional improvements to be considered for the Mi-210. Approximately 200 Mi-210s were produced from 1941 to early 1942. Messerschmitt made changes to the design of the Mi-210 aircraft by extending the rear fuselage and moving the center of gravity. These modifications slightly improved the handling of the plane, but it still had difficulties with flying and was prone to stalls and spins. To further enhance the performance of the Mi-210, more powerful engines were installed, providing a total of 1,750 horsepower. Despite these improvements, the aircraft had gained such a negative reputation that it was given a new designation and name, Mi-410. Unfinished Mi-210s on the production lines were modified to meet the new Mi-410 standards, and all subsequent production focused on the Mi-410. Over 1,000 Mi-410s were produced until September 1944. These planes were primarily used as bomber destroyers against increasing U.S. daylight bombing raids. However, plans to develop Mi-410 versions for night fighters and torpedo bombers were not completed before the war ended. Interestingly, one aircraft produced under the new specifications retained the Mi-210 designation. This particular version featured automatic leading-edge slats and a modified rear fuselage from the Mi-410, but it was equipped with Daimler-Benz engines built under license. Production of this variant, known as the Mi-210C, was divided, with one-third going to the Royal Hungarian Air Force and two-thirds to the Luftwaffe. The Mi-210, a combat aircraft designed by Willy Messerschmitt and his team, turned out to be a disastrous plane with unstable and dangerous flying characteristics. Its modified versions, the Mi-410 and Mi-210C, were slightly improved but still challenging to fly and not effective in combat. This failure led to Messerschmitt resigning as head of Messerschmitt AG and taking on the role of technical director. The Mi-210's inherent instability and poor handling highlighted the fine line between a great design and a flawed one. In comparison, the British DH-98 Mosquito, a similar design that emerged around the same time, was a much better aircraft. The BF-110, which the Mi-210 was supposed to build upon, was a reliable and easy-to-fly plane that excelled as a night fighter. The Mi-210's problems could not be overcome through modifications, emphasizing that a poor aircraft cannot be made great through tinkering.